Hello everyone, this is Gorlami and welcome to this quick guide to the German machine gun classes, in particular the MG34 and the MG42. I'm sure you've heard from somewhere that people find it frustrating to use these weapons in the game, mostly due to the fact that you can't ADS without deploying the bipod, or the bipod mechanics are too unreliable to say the least. But don't give up on these bad boys yet, because with the right techniques you can still be the German Rambo on the battlefield. So first of all, what's the practical differences between the MG34 and the MG42? Well, in Postscriptum, both of them have 100 rounds in the mag, and the MG34 has a slightly slower rate of fire than the MG42. The MG34 is longer than the MG42, and it allows you to fire in semi-auto, and believe it or not, these differences actually are significant, and I'll explain later in this video. Now, the standard way to fire these weapons is from a deployed position on a bipod, either when prone or on a cover object, both of which can be very clunky to work with, as you probably know. The problem with deploying bipod when prone is that you sometimes can't aim high enough, either because you're not on a flat surface or there's grass in your way. Now, if you increase your zeroing to a thousand meters, which is the maximum, you suddenly gain a few degrees of extra elevation and to aim the gun you can simply follow your tracer once you start firing. When deploying bipod on objects there are a few things that you might not know before. First, some objects might seem like you should deploy on them when you are crouched but actually only works when you are standing so make sure you try both options if a surface doesn't work when you deploy. Second, you can mount actually on trees if you crouch right next to them. Third, you can deploy your bipod on your teammate's shoulder if they crouch in front of you. But make sure you tell them to not move when you are about to fire. Otherwise, you know. If you are on bipod behind cover, always point your gun upwards during your reload to minimize your exposure to the enemy. Don't forget to use free look for scanning your field of view, this way you're not moving your whole body all the time, making you harder to be spotted by your enemy. You might also notice that you must be deployed or prone in order to start the reload sequence, but you can actually still reload on the go, all you gotta do is to go prone first, press reload, and then get back up again, and start walking as the reload continues. The next major question is, how can you survive close quarter combat when using the MG34 or the MG42? Do you even stand a chance against the brain gun, the BAR, the SMGs or even bolt actions when you can't ADS right away? Well, if you can't ADS, just don't do it! That's right, hip firing your MG34 or MG42 is absolutely the way to go in close range combats, or even in medium ranges when necessary. In fact, German soldiers were actually instructed to do this during World War II. Now you might be wondering, how is this even controllable? Well, let's find out. As you saw, hip firing these machine guns when crouched or prone is pretty much Rambo laser mode. And in my opinion, the MG34 has a slight advantage over the MG42 because it has a longer barrel, which makes it easier to aim when hip firing. Its rate of fire is slightly lower, which makes it more accurate and more controllable, but still high enough to overpower your enemies. And finally, the semi-auto firing mode of the MG34 makes it easier to engage further targets reliably without wasting all of your ammo. On the other hand, the MG42 does have its edge at closer ranges and it has cleaner iron sights. So, at this point you might be wondering, would the same techniques also work for the Browning M1919? Well, mostly, but not quite as good. 
example one the m1919 has a rear aperture that flips up whenever you increase your zeroing so you can't really apply the first tip the hip firing technique still works but due to its low rate of fire it will not provide the same level of suppression and firepower that the german machine guns can and there you have it guys i hope this guide has been helpful and i'll see you on the battlefield Rear